Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to do some image editing today. Now we're only going to focus on a couple of skills such as rotation, coloring and cropping for this lesson, but um, there will be many more to come. Now we are going to want to edit an image at the end of the day. Now there are lots of things you can do. You can create new projects in this photopia.com, but the reason why we're using the browser is because we want to use software on any computer so that it it's not just a Microsoft computer or not just a Chromebook. So what you got to do here is you're going to open from your computer. So open the image that you want to edit. So I'm going to open from my computer and I know that I've saved a picture of Aladdin on the desktop. So I'm going to select that and click on OK. So now it has now loaded up the image that I want to edit. All right. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is I'm going to show you how to crop. It's quite an easy skill to get, all right? So you've got your toolbars on the left over here, and can you see the crop tool? So you've got your move, your rectangle, your lasso, your magic wand, and your crop tool. So we're going to go and use that and press crop. Now there are lots of different ways you can do it. You can just slice down the image, but really just to get to basics with this, we're going to go to crop. And what you can do is highlight the area you want to keep. So we're going to cut Jasmine out. And then all you need to do is press on the return key on your keyboard and that now crops out your image. So that's a simple tutorial, nice and easy. So you select the area that you want. So I'm going to show you that again. I'm going to click and drag the area that I want, move it to what I would need. So I'm going to get a little bit of the wall gone and press the enter key on your keyboard. All right. Now, that's how to crop. You're probably wanting to know now how you can rotate. Well, when you have a look up here, there are lots of different things that you can do. So we've got your edit menu here, and there is transform. So you go to edit, transform, and what you can do is you can go to rotate, all right? And what that starts letting you do is rotate the actual image within the frame okay now i'm going to undo that because that only rotates the layer okay now what we want to do is rotate the whole thing all right so i'm going to do that again image transform is what you want this time all right so you want image transform so don't get those mixed up you've got transform in the edit menu but then you've got the whole image so you can transform the whole image and go to image, transform, and rotate 90 degrees. Okay, image, transform, rotate 90 degrees back. So that is how you transform. You can even flip the image so that he's looking the opposite way. So that is in the image section, all right? Now there's other things you can do, all right? And you will have been looking at, in one of the lessons, one of the ways to change the colors, all right? Now, if you have a look here, I'm going to show you some of these so you can try them out. Now, imagine you wanted to make something look more spooky. You might change the color balance or you might change the hue and saturation. So I'm going to go on here and we're going to go on hue and saturation. And you can preview what happens here. So if I go down, that's the hue. All right. Now, to make something a bit mucky in color, you might use the saturation. You can even use colorize. You can play with the lightness, the brightness of the image. Again, the hue you probably don't want to touch, but the others will play around with it. I'm going to go to reset. If I go again to adjustments, all right, you can change the color balance. So you can add more reds to it. You can add more, you can take, add more greens to it. So you can see that's given it more of a yellow. Uh, I can bring the, it down to the yellow, maybe add more blue to it. So you can play around with the color balance as well. So that's a simple tutorial. You can even go to image and reduce colors, but a lot of the changes in how it looks and shadows you can do as part of image adjustments and you can even make things black and white there. I'm going to reset that again. 
image adjustments, photo filter, so you can filter out certain colors. All right, and that's a simple tutorial how to do your first steps in Photopea.